What would you do? Your partner and your best friend are drunk and end up sleeping together. They confess to you the very next day and blame it on the alcohol. Do you A, forgive them both, B, forgive neither of them, or C, only forgive one of them? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to follow. I don't believe in that whole forgiving thing, so what I'll do is just cut them off. Alcohol brings out people's true feelings. So that means that when they were sober, the thought has always been to sleep with each other. And when they got drunk... They did exactly what they wanted to do. So, no, I would not forgive the both of them at all. That's that's just, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to be mad at nobody. Well, I'm going to be disappointed, and I'm, I'm going to be upset, but at the same time, not to the point where I want to kill somebody. No, I'm just... The friendship is over, the relationship is over. Stop eating crab legs. How would you feel if somebody cracked your legs open and ate your insides? Crab legs. How would you feel? Bro, why should we do that? Why should we do it, man? I don't got no comments. I hate when they say, make sure you eat. Nah, you make sure I eat. The fuck? Oh, I hate mindless conversations. Like, just shut the fuck up. Fuck how my day went. How your day went. It was the same way as yesterday. The fuck is we talking about? You got a point. I hate mindless conversations. You ever watch your favorite episode of a show and they have the fill-in episodes? It just doesn't make any sense to the main plot of the story. I hate the talking phase when you're just having boring-ass conversation. Like, baby, you know what we're trying to do. You know what I'm trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. You know, we're trying to take it to the next level. I understand we got to keep in touch and I got to act like I care about your day and all that. But at the same time, like, if we know what we trying to do, let's go have some fun. Till you decide you want to come over and give me them cheeks. First time a girl doesn't like you. Number one, she doesn't spend money. Girls don't like to spend their money. I know I don't. If we not locked in and I do not like you, I'm not spending my money on you. It's that simple. I understand everybody works hard for their money. Yes, of course. Good for you. And some of y'all need to remember, stop wasting y'all money on people who don't care about you or like you or even entertained you. Because I bet in every multiverse, she's not going to give you any money. It's not going to change her answer or her. I've had relations with a young lady who, she used to buy me, like, shoes and stuff. She used to pay for my oil changes. That's when I knew, like, I, yeah. The way you feel about me, I'm not feeling the same way, and I'm not going to use you like that. Fellas, if a woman really likes you and you're not feeling the same, be a good person and cut it off before it goes any further. Some of y'all would drag that on. Because you might not be used to that type of treatment. But trust me, in the long run, you will feel better, bro. Her mind. She don't like you. Get it through your brain. But if you have a goatee and mustache combo, come here. You my everything. Number two, I'll let you know. She's not going to let you know. You know why? Because I'll be saying that too. I got to understand, some people are just uninterested and they don't want nothing to do with you. Stop waiting for that answer. You're not going to get it. Maybe she acts nonchalant. You know when somebody being nonchalant when they give you short answers? Okay, yeah, sure, thanks. You all be a little bit too delusional and inside y'all heads. But you know what you can do? You can stop wearing Nike tags. When you listen to Pink Patek, he's going to keep you in check. Y'all got to look out for signs. Body language is everything. You know, if somebody don't like you and you pick up on the fact that they don't like you, Exit stage left. Don't try harder because you're just going to... You're basically digging a deeper hole for yourself. So if somebody show you signs that they don't like you, they're not interested. Take your talent someplace else. Nah, because honestly, like, blue K is a real thing, y'all. And a lot of women don't talk about this. Yes, we don't. I feel like let's do the clear definition of what blue cat is. We're going to use this comment to say the definition. <laughs> <laughs> so blue cat is when it's thumping. Literally the same thing as men when it won't go down. <laughs> And we can't do anything about it. That's blue cat. We're trying to keep our self-control. Exactly. And we're trying to hold it off. But we really want to release that. And we want to indulge in that intimacy with them. But we don't. But we don't. That's blue cat. It's obviously hurting. It's thumping. There's a problem. Mm -hmm. I need to leave your house. So <laughs> we got to go. <laughs> we got to <laughs> That's exactly. blue cat. So, yeah. I ain't never heard of blue cat before. How many of y'all have experienced blue balls? I have. I, I have. So my experiences with blue balls is I'll go over there to a chick crib or we'll be hanging out and, you know, the the 
The evening seemed like it's going right. I want to go crazy. She don't want me to go crazy, so I have to respect her wishes. During the time I want to go crazy, my, mother, my soldier is standing at attention. He's ready for war. The blue balls hit, because we just been in there for so long, she playing games. The blue balls hit, right? When she decides she might want to give me some cheeks, my soldier don't want to fight no more. My soldier said, you know what, bitch? You've been playing games with me all this time. I'm good. Like, that's my definition of blue balls. That has happened to me before. Chick playing games with a motherfucker. My soldier ready to go to war. She took too long. My soldier said, man, I'm going back to sleep. I'm good. I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow. If you know you got a good man, and I'm talking about he do everything you desire, okay? And you like girls too, get a threesome. Stop being so selfish. Me and my wife used to entertain the thought of threesomes. I don't even know if it's still on the table, but honestly, I don't think I want them problems. You know what I mean? I don't think I want them problems. Now, probably if she was just some little freak I was messing with, then then yeah, you know what I mean? Just spice things up, I'll, yeah, why not? But nah, I ain't gonna say too much. You feel me? Cause that I feel as though that's kind of what got her in trouble with the um. Somebody said this in the comment section too, and I feel as though that's what got her in trouble with that client that was trying to do some extracurricular activities with her. I guess she was asking questions. Oh, I want to surprise my man with this, that, and the third, and Shorty took it as an invitation. So yes, my brother, when you said that, you was right. You were a hundred percent right. Bringing people in your bedroom is a little tricky. Bringing extra bodies in your bedroom is tricky. Before, I never really thought about it like this, but every person you have sex with come with some type of energy. And after you do the nasty with them, that energy stays with you. That energy is going to stay with you, dog. So you got to be careful who you let enter your bedroom. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. If I say, hey, I'm home chilling, doing nothing. And a girl says, okay, would you like me to come over? And I'm like, yeah, if you want to. That's not good. That's bad. I mean, I'm not saying that it's bad. It's just like... It would just rub me the wrong way because why would it rub first the, of all, why would it rub a girl like, the wrong way? I feel way? like the girl shouldn't have to ask. If you what do you want, mean? If you want her to come, then you say like, "I want you to come." What if it's like a so-so? Like, hey, you ask me what I'm doing, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm in the crib chilling." Would you like me to come? Nah, my boy, I I can't agree with you because I've had this happen to me with my wife. Sure, if you want to, is not you want me to. You feel what I'm saying? And honestly, I do that too. If I really don't want you to, prime example, let's say I'm about to go to the gym, and sometimes I just be wanting to go to the gym by myself and zone out, and my wife would say, she, you want me to come to the gym with you? And I hit her with the, I mean, sure, if you want to. Honestly, that shit means no. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. That means no. And I know when she said those same exact words to me, it means no. It's like you putting the ball in my court. I'm not, I can't side with you on this one, player. I can't, mm-mm. Mora, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, but I feel like it sounds like you're just trying to be polite. How is that being polite? It is. It, it is. I say no. You're just trying to be polite. That means I don't really want you to come over? It just gives too nonchalant. What do you want me to do? Yeah, I want you to come. I want you to come. I have to say, yeah, I want you to come? Yeah. But what if it's like, if yeah. If you want to. Like, what do you mean if I want to? If you, you want to. That's your choice. Do you want to or no? But you brought it up. What you mean? You brought it up. If a girl, I'm saying in the in the scenario, yeah, if a girl says, yeah, you said that, um, "Hey, you I'm want here." Me to come. Hey, I'm you here chilling in my crib, and the girl's like, "Okay, you want me to come over and?" Nah, bro, she's she's right. The only reason I'm saying she's right is because I know that I do it, and I know what it means when I do it. So when my wife do it, I automatically like, I pick up, I pick up on game. You feel me? Once you tell me if you want to. I'm just not going to do it because I know when I say, sure, if you want to, it's not yes. You know what I'm saying? Really, I don't want you to come. A man and a woman just be friends? No. Yeah, of course. My yeah. best friend is a guy of six years. Really? Yeah. If you call them right now, you tell them, yo, let's hook up, they will say no? They already did. Really? Yeah, it's healthy for the friendship. And he said no? No, no, no. We have. Oh, you guys hooked up? Yeah, yeah. It's healthy for the friendship. Oh, oh, That's oh, why oh, we made it. Oh, like friends with benefits type shit. 
Whenever you guys want to. No, you just did it once. Oh. This short video has proved every man's point as to why we always feel as though the best friend has already clapped them cheeks. And y'all decided that it wasn't going to work in a relationship or it wasn't going to work physically. So y'all just decided to be friends. Now it's like, oh, he's like my brother. Your brother that already clapped him cheeks. What kind of Jerry Springer shit y'all got going on? Huh? And then they try to make you feel bad. Yo, we've been friends since third grade. Y'all been friends since third grade. He clapped it in high school or he clapped it in college. And y'all decided that a relationship or anything further isn't going to work. So y'all decided to be friends. He's still clapping cheeks. He still clapped them cheeks. He too familiar. A n who is too familiar cannot be lingering around our relationship. Think about it when you have a job. When you used to work at some place and then you don't work there anymore. If you go back to visit, let's say you used to work at like McDonald's or something like that. If you go back to that same McDonald's dog, the level of comfort that you're going to have, even though you don't work there, but because you used to work there, you're going to be too comfortable. Prime example, I used to work at a co the cookie place, Great American Cookie in Perimeter Mall. I used to design the cakes. I had to buy a cake for my wife. And I was just like, yo, look, I want this cookie cake right here. Um, Y'all don't have to design it. Just, I'll design it myself. I don't work there. I shouldn't be telling these that shit. But I'm comfortable. I'm like, yo, just let me get the, um, let me get the icing. Let me get the red icing, the chocolate icing, and the white icing. Now I designed it myself. Now I ain't gonna lie. The way I designed the cake, I didn't go behind. I just stood where all the customers stand, had the cake, and I just drew what I wanted to draw on it. And I had them looking crazy. Customers coming up looking like, oh, oh, wow. That's the level of comfort that is gonna have or any dude is gonna have once he has clapped them cheeks. I don't want that. I can see that. I can... I can feel that. Ladies, let me tell you something. Ladies, I'm, I'm letting you know right now. Ladies. Anytime a dude has clapped your cheeks and he's in the vicinity of your man, your man can feel it. Even if y'all try to hide the fact that y'all may have done something before, your man can feel it. He knows something is off. He know. He know that that man has been in that cave lighting fire. He been in there writing on them damn walls. He might start off asking little questions, you know, until like he can't take it no more. Then he start getting to the hard shit. And what you gonna say? Oh my God, you're so insecure. He's like my brother. Like, why would you even think that? But you negate to tell your man that when y'all was in high school, it went down.